Welcome to the south of Lanzarote, in the island of La. A quite touristic but nice place to stay. We had some good food and cleaned the halsey, and some new friends arrived on board. These friends would sail with us to the south of Fuerteventura and are called Anne, Danny, and Pauline, or Popo as we like to call her. We also checked the moss for the first time since our halyard got stuck from when the speed came down. I would suggest you, you do this in a port since three ferries passed and my dad, 20 meters high, for some reason didn't find that very funny. we decided to get the lay of the land and so we took a taxi and visited all the hotspots on the island. This started with La Salida which was a salt farm that has been used for many many years and afterwards we saw this nice cool cave named Los Herfideros. Afterwards we went to see the green lake and took a tour bus around the local volcano Timanfaya. We ended up sipping some local wine and seeing a house from a local hippie architect who clearly had a bit too much fun in his life called Cesar Marique. He was practically worshipped on the island so it was quite impressive to see all that. At the end of our journey we decided to visit the capital city of Lanzarote. But so pretty fast that except for good restaurants this was not a place for tourists but if you were local it was pretty okay.
before we left Lanzarote, we anchored in a nice place not so far from the original spot. At a place named Papagayo Beach, which is quite beautiful and peaceful place if you want to have a quiet night's sleep, a good swim, nice chilling on the beach and some impressive views to go along with it. In the afternoon, we set sail to Isla de Lobos and wanted to find a place to see some fish. So we took out the dinghy and went right on. Uh, what are we doing, Thomas? Uh, we're finding a place to see fish. And it's uh, quite sketchy with that tiny dinghy and uh, all yeah, the we want to go little... there to the village, but uh, we don't see anything. We don't want to risk it. around Fuerteventura for the remainder of the week, heading down the west coast to the south side of the island and seeing some nice villages along the way. These were not quite so touristic. We ended our journey with our friends in the south, where we stayed a couple of days in port to avoid some heavier weather and then spare us some long trips from the anchor place to the marina. After this, we set sail to Gran Canaria. Thank you. 